Hey everybody, Last Outrider back here with another episode. This time we're talking about Ryza, Furnace of Shackled Stars. Not to be confused with Ryza, the pleasure planet from Star Trek, apparently. I'm sure there's no connection. The Forge world of Ryza has been plunged into the abyss of war. The planet was once famous for supplying containment fields and plasma weaponry. The Lehman Russ Executioner and the Stormblade Super Heavy Tank were born within its armor cradles. However, since Ryza found itself bearing the brunt of not one, but two major wags, the rivers of war material that flood its manufacturer canals lead only to its own defenders. The planet has turned every cannon, stubber, and bullet to an all-out battle for survival. In truth, the tech priests of Ryza welcome the opportunity to see their creations in action firsthand. Ryza's Skatari, alongside the warmongers of the Legio Crucius and the Astra Militarum's Katachin Regiments, have taken righteous pleasure in turning Ryza's most devastating weapons upon the foe. The orcs of Wag Grax and Rare Guts, always on the lookout for more Daka, have done much the same. Every vault and war crypt has been raided. Every gun, reliquary, broken open in furtherance of the war effort. Transdimensional beamers light up the night. Gatling macro cannons roar their fury and writhing lava hoses spew hot death into the streets. To set foot upon Ryza is to see a vision of war unbound, and the violent industry of the Adeptus Mechanicus unleashed on a worldwide scale. Yes, obviously this planet is ironically named Ryza. For the pleasure planet, I believe, in Star Trek, the vacation planet. And here we have a planet which basically is entire culture is war. All right. <clears throat> Again, people are being ironic. Here's the little, I guess, story-ish. Blasphemers! Hist, Rustalker, Princeps, Three Cricks. For the hundredth time that day. He swept a metal finger towards the orcs, teeming through the arches. No matter their number, we prevail. Red in cog and claw. Red in cog and claw, his fellow Skitarians echoed dully. They were a miserable bunch. Only really happy when carving apart the flesh of the Omnissiah's foes. Lucky for them, that was something Ryza had in plenty. The ground vibrated, sending the Skitarians skittering like pond scatter insects. The dull roar filtered through the devotional psalms. Three cricks liked to play to himself when the killing began. It grew to a thunderous shout as three cricks cocked his head. 6,834 greenskin warriors poured down the steps of the Mecca Potentate Basilica. Praise be! Three cricks shouted as he bounded up to the shoulder of a fallen statue. He leapt into the air, rises wane sunlight gleaming from his weaponized frame before plunging his transonic blades into the armored orcs at the forefront of the greenskin charge. 
Behind him, his kill clade followed suit. Heads rolled. Orc limbs flew in arcs of blood. Truly, thought three cricks, this was a fine day to be a tool of the Omnissiah. There you go. Probably the very first Skitari fluff on YouTube. That's what the Skitari are thinking as they're kicking people's ass. Enjoy! Until next time! Bye!